Jumping into a quick computer art tutorial here, we're going to make the effect of uh, writing our own graffiti tag on some kind of a surface. Um, so here what I've got is a download font that I've filled with a gradient and then um, added a background image. And so in order to get started on this, um, really the first thing we can do is we can set up a new document. Um, we're going to use the custom size that we usually go with is 10 width, 8 height, and 72 resolution for um, this image because we're going to be borrowing images from the web. And so resolution can stay low for this. Um, and really the main thing is I just want to go over how we can use uh, fonts that are downloaded and add them to Photoshop. Um, and so font site that I use sometimes is uh, dozen f one free fonts. Just did a Google search of graffiti fonts, and now scroll down and see if I can find any that are uh, appealing to me. Let me go look at the second page, and uh, I think that I like actually look at this nose grind font. So I'm going to click on the download button, and then I'll see that downloads a zip file, which I'll click on once. And that will unzip that file. So now you can see in your downloads folder, um, you have the font here. Um, so now what we want to do is actually go to our applications folder and open up the application called Fontbook by double clicking. When we go into Fontbook, I want to start by clicking on this lower left hand corner plus sign. And actually, maybe that's not what I wanted to do. That added a collection. I think actually. What I want to do is click on this plus sign up here. There we go. And I want to look into my downloads folder, find the font, and select the TTF file, and click open. And what that's going to do is install that font to my font book, uh, which I believe it has done. So I'll go back to uh, Photoshop. I'll choose my type tool and I'll go into my type uh, font menu and see if I can find the font called Nose Grind. And here we go, Nose Grind Demo Font. And so let me go ahead and make a space here. I'm going to use my graffiti tag name of K Money. I'm going to switch these colors to black so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Oops, it looks like the whole thing did not turn out in my font, so I'm just going back, adjusting. There we go. Um, so now if I select this whole thing and enlarge it quite a bit, I can type actually any value that I want in here. And so then I'm gonna go with like 200. There we go, that's a little bit too big. Uh, about 175, still a little big, 150, that's looking pretty good, 145, nice, I think that's pretty good to settle with, alright, so um, this would be my graffiti font here, um, what I would now do is go ahead and um, fill this, in order to fill this with a gradient, I would want to um, option and click on the thumbnail here. Actually, first, what we have to do is rasterize the type, right? Um, now, if I option and click on this thumbnail, command click, sorry, not option click, command click on that thumbnail, and then I'll go to my um, my gradient tool, which is behind the paint bucket, gradient tool here, and uh, select a color gradient that works for you. Um, I think I'm going to keep this lighter blue and add in maybe something more of a warm color, maybe like this light green. All right, I'll go with that. I'm going to say radial gradient for this, and I'm going to make sure I have this layer selected. I'll go ahead and make my gradient go across. Um, you know what I may do is actually start in the middle, move outwards. There we go. I think that's more like what I was looking for. Well, 
last time. There we go. So it kind of got like a nice soft change of like a light green to uh, blue to a light green going across. Now I just need to add some place to put this. So if I do a, uh, not a Google image search, I just go back to my Google search here. And instead of fonts, I'm going to look for um, maybe a brick wall image. in particular will do. Maybe I'll find one with something. Yeah, that's kind of a nice image right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to load. Right click, copy the image, flip back over to Photoshop, and paste in this image. And this is gonna work for my backdrop. I'm just borrowing this image here. All right, once I have that transformation good, pressing enter and bringing this layer up above. All right, and now I'm going to take and move this into place. And I want to change the layer style to overlay. That'll kind of help that um, the texture show through. Actually, maybe that wasn't the right one that I was looking for, but try out depending on your background image, you may want to uh, fuss with different layer styles really. Um, so some are I think better than others. I think screen is actually the one that uh, I was looking for. So screen kind of marks that on there and it blends kind of the font in with the um, brick below it and there you have it. A nice little finished graffiti piece. Pretty quick and easy.